Well, today we're going to do something a little bit different and do a little bit of animation. But first, I need an image to animate. This is a goldfish I got from uh, Wiki, and it's a public domain image. And I'm going to try to cut just the goldfish from this background. I'm going to try to do this very simply by selecting the background with the the magic wand tool. Now I have to go to my goldfish first and add an alpha layer. Once I add an alpha layer, layer I could select all that, hit delete, and there's a plain background. So now we'll select none. The goldfish is pretty good, but I do have some of the shadow down below it. So let's see what we can do about pulling that shadow out. I'm going to use the same tool again here and see if I can't pull that shadow out. I'm not real sure how well this will work instead of just going in there and hand picking it. But it looks like it's going to do a pretty good job. So if I hit delete now, it's gone. So let's try this in here. And hit delete. I select more area, hit delete, and hit the last, and hit delete, and select none. It actually looks like it's working pretty good. If you notice, I'm selecting the part closest to the body first, and you can drag it, and it will increase in size. And as soon as that increase starts to infringe into the actual object, I stop. And then you work out from there. From that point, you can work out. And it looks like it's cleaning it up pretty good. Oh, we have one more little part in here. Now, see, once it gets up into the body, it's no good. You've got to make sure that when you select, it stays within the area. You know, look, I've selected into two parts. I'm just going to get away and say select none. And I'll go back into this and try it again. And when I select, I hit delete, and it's gone. And that's pretty good. It's got a little bit in there, a little bit of that band. Select none. The only thing that looks a little sketchy is down in here. Um, we're going to zoom in on this a little bit to look at it. Let's see, how can I clean this up here so it looks okay? Uh, let's try the magic wand tool. Oh, I can delete it because I can always control Z and undo that. But I'm going to delete it. Select none. And it looks pretty good, actually. So what I do want to do is get rid of all this junk in here. And I can do that with my uh, path tool. We'll just roughly hit in here. And select all that area. I hit control to lock that in and say select from path and delete select none now when I hit another tool and I back out from this it actually looks pretty good it looks pretty good I've got that little bit of white edge in there I don't really care about it but I probably could get rid of that real easy if I just select everything outside here and say select grow by one and delete and then select none that is a very clean looking fish right now and if I really want to look at it and say is that as clean as it looks in that image I can go in here and I can make another layer this is just to look at it this is not going to be used as a layer it's to be able to look at what I've done 
and I go, hey, that top layer is pretty clean. A little bit right there. Let's go to that top layer and see if I can get that little tiny piece out. Um, see, sometimes I'm too picky, but I don't like that little piece. So I'm in the top layer right here. I can go in here with my eraser and me a sharp line eraser tool and get rid of that. And let's back out and see if it uh if there's anything else in here. I don't see anything else at all. I think we've got a good clean ping image of a fish. Uh, we're gonna view it, fit it in a window, and we're gonna save it. We'll take this fish and uh, uh, you know what? I think I'll even save it as a paintbrush. Select invert, edit copy, paste as a new image. That gives us the very minimal border. Again, we're going to have it fit in the window. The minimal border to have the whole fish fit in. You notice that it's the very maximum here. Or the minimum on the size, minimum of the size there. Minimum to the fin and minimum to the nose. And that is the smallest that image can go and contain all the parts. Now I can hit, see, there, see I'm going to show you the difference here. Here is a select area. And you see it selects, but it won't select down here. It selects only as far as the uh, contiguous areas. This, in other words, this one here will select all the transparent area. So we select all the transparent area. We'll select uh, invert. That is only the fish. And we're going to say, okay, paste as a new brush. And we're going to call this new brush fish. So anytime in the future I want to use a fish brush or I want this fish, I can get this fish. And just to show you what I mean, we'll go to here and go a new image. We'll do a new image um, 1280 by 720. I do everything 1280 by 720 because that's my YouTube videos. And we'll fit this blank image view, fit in the window, and we'll use the paintbrush of the fish. Right there is the fish. And if you notice, it's real, real little. So what we have to do is bring this up bigger. And now you can see a light outline of it. And if I click it, I've got a fish. I've now got a fish paintbrush so I could use anywhere I want. Not only that, it doesn't only face one way. All I gotta do is reverse it and it can face the other way. And it can be somewhat distorted. If I say, I think I would like to have that a little bit narrower, I can say, okay, let's resize this into a narrower fish. Well, let's unlock the aspect. Cancel. Unlock the aspect. That means it can be shorter and longer. So I've got that I can do with that fish. I get a nice fish, uh, I've got a nice fish paintbrush to use now. But now I've got this fish image. I'm going to save it as um, select export as I get an export as goldfish ping export replace export now we've got a fish image we can use and we can discard everything else and close this up now we'll open up Synfig Studio 
Now let's import a fish. File, import. We're going to import that fish. Oh my goodness, that's a big, 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 big fish in here. So, uh, what am I going to do here, huh? Let's select our fish and shrink it down. This shrinks it in proportion. If you notice, it's the one that's on the diagonal of the center. And it will shrink it and keep the aspect. And the more you drag it, the more you can shrink it. Now you can shrink it here and your aspect changes. Or you can shrink it here and again your aspect changes. And control Z of course, it erases the last thing you did. So we've got this fish at this point right here. That's the point of the fish. Let's look at this window and change it to fit what our video would actually be. Let's drag this whole fish and put them off screen. Now let's take this furthest point. And at that point, we will drag that fish back into the screen. Now if we look here, we'll look at the animation window. That is an important thing. That is important. That allows you to have the animation on or off. If it's got the red line, it's on. So now we got to go back to this point and put this fish outside the window at this point. And here, in the anima animation window, we put them back in. Now, if we back all the way up, the fish is out there. If we run it, the fish comes in. The animation is so simple with this program. So simple. And there can be a lot more done, but this is to show how rapidly, from taking an image and finding it, that I turn it into an animation here. And this animation then can be exported. We can say render. We want to render it as a... When we render, we have to tell it where. I didn't do that. We have to go to desktop, my synfig, and we're going to save it as the first animation, MP4, and render it. Now we're making the actual video itself. And if I look into the folder, if you look here, you see the size increasing of the MP4. That means it is writing that. And it's in the middle of working right now. When it's finished, then you'll be able to look and see your actual moving. I might go to play it. There is the video. Hey, if you enjoy this video, like, subscribe, and click on a link above. Thank you.